Hey, what's up guys? EOG here. We're back at Gotham. I go over. Lately I've been trying to make videos every day for you guys. Um, editing's been tough. We're going to be going over Robert Pattinson's role as the Dark Knight. And in these pictures, as you can see here, um, people are kind of skeptical of how he look. I honestly think in these Photoshop photos, he looks pretty good as the Dark Knight. He dons the Dark Knight cow very well. I don't think people should be quick to judge because look at Ben Affleck's uh, performance. Everyone loved him. Like for instance, he looks like he could be a Bruce Wayne with that behind him. I forgot the name, but I'm gonna go with that into that in a little bit. We have a whole bunch of uh, actors that are gonna be in this movie, such as The Riddler by David Tennant. Yeah, David Tennant. Uh, the Penguin by, I forgot his name, but he was in uh, Black Panther. Um, Hugo Strange by uh, Jared Harris um, and Hush played by Oscar Isaac which should be also be played by Robert Pattinson but of course they're going to go into that but yeah so there's a lot of things and also it's been stated that the uh, Batman movie might not be a part of the DCEU. The DCEU has um, failed a lot and but lately it has some good movies such as Aquaman. Aquaman was a good movie, I loved the movie, a lot of plot twists and things. Uh, Wonder Woman, very strong, uh, brought out script, and also The Man of Steel. The Man of Steel was also a pretty good movie. I really enjoyed watching it, so did a lot of people, a lot of critics and stuff, so forth and so on. But yeah, so the plot in this movie is Batman is looking for a murderer, and it's, it's kind of like a murder mystery, sort of, and he has to look through all the rogues gallery. And, and this, uh, the rogues gallery, he's just going through hoops trying to figure out which villain it is and has so many villains in this. I do apologize for the stuttering guys, but it has so many villains in this and we just got this news uh, a couple days ago and uh, we recently found this out and it's based on Halloween, Batman of uh, the long Halloween comic. And yeah guys, so it's looking pretty good. Pretty excited to see how uh, Robert Pattinson will portray this role. And I'm not sure why people are so skeptical about him. Um, he looks like he could be a Bruce Wayne. I could see it. A lot of he feels bad about the whole Twilight thing, and people are just downing on him for Twilight. Twilight was old news, was old movies and stuff like that. You shouldn't judge one's uh, an actor just for the movie they're playing. That's why in a, in a movie. Never blame the actor, always blame the writer and the film directors and stuff like that because it's their story, he's just acting it. And he pretty sure did a good job as being that character to believe, make me believe that he was really that bad. So, uh, yeah, he did not just play those roles, he played many roles. Many roles that he would be pretty actively good in, which um, people keep forgetting. It's more movies than just Twilight. Also, if, if I do mention, Catwoman will now be in uh, the movie. In this picture you see here, there's a Photoshop of Bruce Wayne and the actor for Catwoman. I gotta say, I'm really excited for this movie. Uh, we've never actually seen uh, Robert Pattinson in the suit, but I'm pretty sure it will look a lot like the Photoshop ones, just like the first show, Photoshop one I just showed. So, again, I'm pretty interested to see uh, how he would dawn the Dark Knight, and, uh, and a lot of people should be too and not be so judgmental. In recent articles, uh, Robert Pattinson has been very skeptical about playing the Batman role because Batman is a huge role to step into. And I, I gotta understand that. Batman is a huge role to step into and we should go easy on him. I mean, cause it's not easy playing a big character, playing someone that, um, someone that people idolize, look up to. A lot of people even learn things from a fictional character, which, I gotta say, playing this character is a lot to take on, so I feel bad that uh, people are going at him like this, and they should be understanding because uh, it's not easy, it's not easy. You tried being him, so that's all I gotta say about that. I'm a little too late for this, actually a month late, which I had a video recorded, but it was on mobile, and that's when I decided to stop recording mobile using my equipment to waste. But uh, we're gonna be going over Hakeem Joker. Um, well, Hakeem Phoenix as the Joker and I gotta say he's pretty good we're gonna be going into the trailer breakdown and I'm gonna be explaining things and so forth that I like about the character so Two. my mother always tells me to smile and put on a happy face 
She told me I had a purpose to bring laughter and joy to the world. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. What? If you smile. To your fear and sorrow, smile, and maybe tomorrow you <laughs> What's so funny? Just freak. <laughs> that cold-blooded someone who hides behind a mask I used to think that my life was a tragedy but now I realize it's a comedy So, seeing the Joker um, Phoenix trailer, well, you guys have. Well, I have too, but yet again, I like how they're building the character up. See, here he is sort of going through his own mess, and I guess he's going to see this patient, like, um, I guess it's like a therapist or something, and he's living in the slums. And uh, right now, he's completely saying this is Arthur Fleck we're talking about, and he loves for his mother, he takes care of her. I like how they're building this character up. I mean, it's it's a good addition to the Joker story. I like how they're building this character up and seeing how he ne he wasn't always insane and how life, life got to him. Life is hard, guys. Life will break you down and make you into someone new. See, for instance, he loved to, he didn't want to, but he loved to make the world smile. That's what his mom or so whoever in this uh, trailer always said to him. And it's a shame how just people like this tear him down and as you can see when we get into these next couple of shots here um you see him like angry and he's like just like what like what is wrong with me you know and it's kind of, it's kind of interesting it's like it's like, sort of like bullies you know bullies will break you down into your last breath and they'll just tear you apart and just keep tearing you apart until you uh you just can't do it anymore you know and i i, I get it i mean so what they're doing with the Joker here now is pretty cool. And I'm not gonna go too into the trailer breakdown, so I'm just gonna skip it, but I like this ending part. This gave me goosebumps. And then this, like, towards the end of the trailer with the whole building up, then this is where he finally became the clown prince, prince of crime, as we all know today. So what I do like about this character, this character is, it gives you a very passionate vibe about him. It's like. Okay, you, you actually feel bad for this character instead of thinking he's just this crazy, laughable character that needs to get beat up and pummeled down by Batman, you know? And it was kind of ironic, a friend of mine said in a video, he said what it would be cool if they added is at the end of the movie, uh, end of the Joker movie, it would show um, him talking to Batman or Batman caught him. And he's like, there's so many sides to the story, you know what I'm saying? Because Joker, there's, there's no definition, there's no... Uh, there's no definite story of how he became the Joker and how he became who he is right now. So that would actually make sense and it would actually be pretty cool to, to see that. But I highly doubt it because Hockey Phoenix says that he doesn't want to be any part of a part of any trilogy, part of any movie or anything like that, or something like that, not any movie, any trilogy. So this is his own standalone universe. It's the Elseworld story. Um, and yeah, now what I don't like about the character is the Joker look. The Joker look could be a lot better. 
and um, and the actor is good. It's good. And and what I don't like about the movie trailer is how Thomas Wayne is like this politician, you know. But Thomas Wayne is not really a politician. He was a philanthropist doctor. And in the Telltale series, um, he was secretly a criminal. But um, yeah, he was a philanthropist doctor. So that was his main role. Um, but then he, uh, how Joker just walks up to uh, Wayne Manor and then like puts a smile on Bruce Wayne's face. To me, uh, they could have done a lot better with that. I mean, I wouldn't have done that. To me, it wasn't really, it didn't look good. So I'm not really sure about how um, I like feel about that. But yeah, now I'm gonna move on to what I was saying about um, Haki Phoenix's um, like wishes and what he wants. So what Haki, Haki and Phoenix says, is that he does not want to be a part of any trilogy or anything, so that's why it's not part of the DCEU. They're still stuck with uh, Jared Leto. And by the way, if no one knows this, uh, the DCEU was just a name for a joke, but then it became this huge thing that everyone's using. So um, that's mainly where that <laughs> originated from. But Hakeem Phoenix says that he doesn't want to be a part of any trilogy or anything like that, so it, the reason, that's the reason why it's a standalone universe. And he enjoys being his own separate role that he can grasp you know it, it's like kind of like another Heath Ledger my brother says that they're kind of cobbling Heath Ledger which I mean the hair and stuff but yeah it would be a good Heath Ledger story too but this could be like the second Heath Ledger which I'm pretty excited about and I think you guys should be too so yeah guys um that's all I had to say for uh today's video so I hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you did drop a like now below if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content all links will be in the description below um, go check out my social media. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. I'm trying to edit that and get it out as quick as possible. And yeah, guys. So anyway, guys, I'm BOG or Batty Gotham. Peace out and subscribe.